me move on to a different subject and back to to, to my uh, my lane, and that's the world of sports because there's a guy by the name of Cliff Kingsbury who's just named our offensive coordinator for the Washington Commanders. And why should this be of interest to folks? Because this is America, and we like to have the veneer, the ambiance, the facade at the very least of fairness. And I'm trying to figure out where could possibly anybody capture that at this particular moment in time when it comes to this guy. I apologized on national television this morning uh, to Cliff Kingsbury for what I needed to say because it's not his fault. If you're the former head coach at Texas Tech who had a 35-40 and 40 record over here, overall in your head coaching stint there, you went 1-2 and two in bowl games over a six-year period, you would never be confused as being Nick Saban, Kirby Smart, Dabo Sweeney, uh, uh, Brian Kelly, or anybody else of elite stature for that matter, including Lincoln Riley at USC, and you get offered a head coaching job in the National Football League, how are you supposed to turn that down? I would take that job if I were him. I can't knock him for doing the same. But we have to remember that in four years as the Arizona head coach, a job in which he acquired by bypassing countless individuals, black, white, and beyond, who had toiled through the corridors of NFL teams throughout the years, but still were robbed of an opportunity or denied an opportunity to be a head coach. This guy got the head coaching job because he was perceived as being an individual who had a good relationship with Kyler Murray when Kyler Murray was in college. And lo and behold, he gets the head coaching job. They draft Kyler uh, Murray, uh, number one overall. And from 2019 through the year 2022, Cliff Kingsbury record was 28, 37, and one. In four years at the job, he went to the postseason one time, had a winning record one time. And the things that he was most known for is his personal relationship with the quarterback and the fact that he had a fly-ass crib that we all saw in Arizona uh, because we learned during COVID when everybody had to stay at home and confine themselves to their home and weren't allowed to go to work, he was doing the NFL draft from his home. That's a fly-ass crib, no doubt about it. A matter of fact, I've had my assistant Sumatra and other real estate agents looking for a house like that because I haven't been able to find one yet. Maybe I got to go out to Arizona and check it out. But if they got coyotes out there, I'm not doing it, but that's beside the point. My point is, is that Cliff Kingsbury did nothing to get the job and then promptly got the head coaching job in Arizona and proved over a period of time that he didn't deserve the head coaching job to begin with. Well, here he is again, except this time it's not as a head coach, it's as an offensive coordinator. And it's not just as an offensive coordinator, it's for the Washington Commanders. A Washington Commanders team that was recently purchased for over $6 billion by Josh Harris, the owner of the Philadelphia 76ers and the National Basketball Association, by the way, who a part owner is Irving Magic Johnson, okay? The offensive coordinator at the time was Eric Bieniemy, who was the former offensive coordinator in Kansas City with Patrick Mahomes and had led them to three Super Bowls and two Super Bowl titles before he left because he couldn't get a head coaching job. So he went to Washington to better position himself to ultimately be considered for head coaching duties where he coached under Ron Rivera. And lo and behold, they went four games. Ron Rivera gets fired and they, didn't, they were trying to figure out what role they were going to play for him. And then they turn around after hiring Dan Quinn who last we saw was the defensive coordinator in Dallas that did a damn good job until he was getting romped 48 to 16 with six minutes left in a playoff game against the Green Bay Packers with a goat with a quarterback in Jordan Love who was quarterbacking in his first playoff game ever. That Dan Quinn. And now he is as a head coach. And he hires Cliff Kingsbury. Cliff Kingsbury. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, I don't even have a problem with that. Let me tell you where I have the problem. They're saying it's possible Kingsbury was the choice because Caleb Williams, the presumptive number one overall pick coming up in this year's NFL draft out of USC. Guess what? Wait for it. He has a close relationship with Cliff Kingsbury. Don't y'all find that amazing? So we ain't talking qualifications because he certainly didn't have him in Texas Tech and he damn sure don't have him at Arizona Cardinals NFL, but he's got a personal relationship. Well, why ain't he the player personnel director? He's got a great relationship with quarterbacks. Well, why ain't he the quarterback coach? Why you gotta be the offensive coordinator? 
which everybody knows in today's day and age, when you're a head coach, you're getting plucked from the corridors of offensive coordinator or defensive coordinator jobs in the National Football League. So once again, a person that did nothing, looks good, got a boyish smile, got a fly crib with limited credentials. He's the new offensive coordinator for the Washington Commanders, but Eric Bieniemy, who's got two Super Bowl titles on his resume, by the way. That Eric Bieniemy. He's out of a job. Looking for his next opportunity. And oh, by the way, the Pittsburgh Steelers, because knowing Tomlin, he would have hired Mike Tomlin, he would have hired somebody like that. Well, he just hired Arthur Smith, who got fired from the Atlanta Falcons job. So he didn't have that opening. Eric Bieniemy, who coached Patrick Mahomes for the first five years, who joined with Andy Reid and Colin Place, who Andy Reid vouched for, deserves strong head coaching consideration, deserves to be a head coaching, a head coach in the National Football League. He's out of a job. But Cliff Kingsbury has a job. And we got these young pups like Caleb Williams talking about my dog, my dog. But brothers with qualifications on the outside looking in. Go figure. 